person's life and there is no cure. But breakthrough technology is reversing the effects of Parkinson's disease. The treatment is available here in Baton Rouge. Natalia Verdina has more new at 10. I think it's kind of like nerves this morning. Thing a routine checkup for a man who thought he'd never be able to sit nearly motionless again. One thing I want to ask y'all. Ed Richardson has Parkinson's disease and a year ago the idea of both arms resting by his side seemed surreal. I was taking 12 pills a day and now I'm taking nothing. I haven't been taking anything since they turned it on. It's called deep brain stimulation. If you get a response with the medication, you're highly likely to get a good response with the stimulator. This is an example of the device doctors use to reach the cells affected by Parkinson's. This, there's this small, a very small electrode that goes all the way down uh, deep inside the brain. Once the electrode reaches its destination, it starts to send out low voltage electric frequencies. This electrode itself is what's left deep inside the brain. It's only about a millimeter in diameter. The patient remains awake throughout the entire surgery, waiting for the tiny device to reveal its powerful results. A lot of times the patient gets so overwhelmed, they actually break down in the operating room, and a lot of other people in the operating room start breaking down too when that happens. It only takes a few seconds for the effects to kick in. It's like flipping a switch. And, and we don't really get to do that very often, flip a switch and make people instantly better. After the two-hour procedure, this small plastic cover is attached to the head, holding the electrode in place. A battery pack attached to the person's chest keeps the electric frequencies funneling through. Richardson had one of these devices inserted just over a year ago, and today he's brave enough to show us how much he depends on it. You mind if we just turn it off for a second and just see, see what, the, what it's like without the stimulator? As long as you turn it back on. <laughs> I'll turn it back on, I promise. Within a matter of seconds. All right, you ready? Yeah. Richardson almost instantly relives those uncontrollable shakes. So that's what we're like without it. All right, let's turn it back on. Slowly but let's surely, Richardson's movements wind down. And in about eight seconds, he's back to where he was before. Hands okay, resting seconds, calmly on his in. lap. Better, huh? Better, better. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, I turned it off. And how did you feel when you just saw the well, effects? Well, I was just amazed by it. But, you know, the good Lord gave them the talent to do it and gave me the best in receiving that talent. Prayer, family, and two doctors, all critical for reversing one of the most degenerative diseases known to mankind. The day they turned it on, it was just like daylight and dark. Natalia Verdina, WBRZ News 2. That is amazing. The procedure costs up to $100,000, and it is covered by most insurance policies, so that makes it even better. Sure. That's life-changing. Uh